Hi there, Gary Smith here. I'm going to show you how to set up the GSP lead conversion dashboard. I'm going to focus on using the Lightning setup interface. In this video, there is an accompanying video that shows you how to do exactly the same steps in the Classic Edition. So choose whichever you prefer. When you install the GSP lead conversion dashboard, it inserts two fields. The first field is on the lead object, and it's this field here, opt from converted lead. It's a pick list, and it has two pick list values, yes and no. So that's the first field we're going to work with. The second field is on the opportunity object. It's this field here from converted lead. It's also a pick list and it also has two pick list values, yes and no. So they're the two fields that we're going to work with. So let's start with the lead field. Here's my field, opt from converted lead. So here's the first thing I'm going to do with that field. I'm going to make it possible for me to update that field on all existing lead records. So the way to do that is to click on the field and I need to click on this button here, View Field Accessibility. And I'm presented with this table. So I'm going to go down to the System Administrator row and I'm going to click on Hidden. And now I'm going to click on this checkbox here, Visible. So I'm going to add the field to all of the relevant page layouts, all the lead page layouts. You can take it off later, feel free to take it off later, but I need to do this in order to update all of the existing lead records. And I'm going to show you how to do that update as well. So I'm going to check the box to be true, tick the box, and click Save. So that's the first step. The second step only applies if you're using record types on leads. And if you're using record types on leads, we need to make an adjustment to the pick list values there. And the way you do that is back on the lead object, you click on record types. You can see I have two record types in this Salesforce environment. So I'm going to click on the first of those, click on the name of the record type. And here's my field towards the bottom of the screen, opt from converted lead. And I simply need to click on edit. And I'm going to make those two pick list values accessible for this record type. So I'm going to move them over. And most importantly, this default section, I'm going to make that default value yes. And click Save. Now I'm going to do the second record type. So I'm going to click on the name of the second record type. Again, there's my field, opt from converted lead, click on edit, drag the two fields, the two pick list values over, and I'm going to make the default value, don't forget to make the default value on the lead, yes. And if I had more record types, then I would do the, exactly the same step for the other record types. So that's the second thing I'm going to do. The third thing I'm going to do with this field is I'm going to map it to the relevant opportunity field. And the way to do that is to go back to the fields and relationships, click on there. And over on the right hand side of the screen, you might just be able to see it poking out on the side of the video. There's a button called Map Lead Fields. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to map that field to the relevant opportunity field. So here's my lead field. I need to click on opportunity and select the relevant field. Now I've only got one custom field in this Salesforce environment so it's nice and easy. I need to map it to from converted lead. So I'm selecting from converted lead and I'm going to click save. So that's my work done for the lead field. Now I'm going to move on to the opportunity field. So I go to my opportunity object, 
here's the field that we looked at earlier so it's on the opportunity it's called from converted lead and again you only need to do this if you're using record types on opportunities so if you're not using record types on opportunities you can skip this step uh, you'd be ready to go to the final step which is updating the existing lead record but we are using record types here so on my opportunity layout click record types I've got two record types so for the first of those I'm going to click on the name of the record type and here's my field from converted lead click on edit and I'm going to move those two values over and this time I'm going to select no so on the lead I selected yes I made the default value yes on the opportunity I'm making the default value no click save go back and do the same thing for the other record type click on the name there's my field from converted lead drag the two values over don't forget to make the default value no like that click save so now we're ready to do the final step and the final step is to update the lead field for all existing leads so the field that we're talking about is on the lead field it's this one it's the op from converted lead we're going to update that field to yes for all existing open leads now there are two ways to do that if you're familiar with the apex data loader you can use the data loader to set the value for all open leads to yes but if you don't want to use the data loader there is another way to do it via the interface and I'm going to show you that now so let's go to the user interface and we'll click on the leads tab now before I started the video I created two additional lead views just to save me some time on the video but I've got open standard leads and open web leads so let's have a look at one of those and because I'm using record types in this environment I filtered each of those views by the record type so this is filtered to run just for the standard record type and the other view is to run on the web record type and what I'm going to do is modify the field visibility here or the field list I'm going to select fields to display and I'm going to add my field my op from converted lead I'm going to add that let's just move it up to make it a bit easier I'm going to add that to the list view so there's my field and to update all of the existing leads I'm simply going to select my leads double click on just below the field and I'm going to select yes and I'm going to update that for all existing leads click save at the bottom and you've updated there for only two fields two leads here two two records I'm going to do the same thing for my web leads so remember if you're not using record types you won't need two list views you need a separate list view for each record type if you're not using record types just one list view will do so here are all my open web leads filtered on the web record type so same thing I'm going to add my field to the list here it is up from converted lead move it up so there's my field same thing select all the leads on that page double click there select yes and apply it to all six records in this case don't forget to click save now if I had multiple pages of leads I need to do that for each individual page so that's a relatively easy way to update the value for all existing leads and the reason we're doing this is so that when a lead is converted this value here this value of yes pulls through onto the opportunity field so we know that opportunity has come from a converted lead and that field on the opportunity is used in all of the reports 
and the dashboards. So that's all of it complete. If you get stuck, do not hesitate. Or if you have a question, do not hesitate. Go to our website, garysmithpartnership.com. We have a phone number and we have a contact us page. Get in touch with us and we will help you out. That's it for now. Good luck.